What's going on everyone? My name is Evan Jemnikar and I'm the Daily Dino Guy. So I was watching Jurassic Park the other day and there's a moment in the beginning of the movie where John Hammond is explaining Jurassic Park and he explains how it's a couple hundred miles off the coast of Costa Rica. And this got me thinking, the environments that dinosaurs lived in would have been completely different from what we know today. Also, dinosaurs didn't live in the same environments. Like T-Rex and Velociraptor lived on completely different sides of the globe at completely different times. So all the dinosaurs in Jurassic Park would have had different climates that they would have been used to. So all that got me thinking, could the dinosaurs in Jurassic Park actually have survived in Jurassic Park? So I wanted to set out to see if they actually could live there. So what I did to try and figure this out was I got the list of the original dinosaurs that were in just the first Jurassic Park movie. Then I went and got the approximate coordinates for their geologic formations. Then I took these coordinates and took them over to climatearchive.com. And climatearchive.com is this really cool website where you can put in the longitude and latitude and the time period you wanna go to and it will give you the approximate paleoclimate data. So it'll tell you the annual temperature and the annual precipitation levels. And it also breaks it down by month, so you can know approximately January all the way through December, and then the average annual. So I took the coordinate data from all these dinosaurs from the first movie, plugged it into climatearchive.com, and got the temperature and the precipitation for each of these dinosaurs from when and where they lived. Then I did the same thing for modern day Costa Rica because the island that Jurassic Park is on, Isla Nublar, it's not real. So I had to get the next best thing, which was Costa Rica. That's the closest place that we would know. So I got modern climate data from Costa Rica for a comparison. Now you could just see if these ranges lined up but for me, I thought if they only lined up for about one or two months, that wouldn't really mean that the dinosaur could live there year round. So what I did was I calculated the 95% confidence coefficient. Now, it's a lot of science and statistical speak, but what this really does is just kind of break it down to see, is there a significant statistical difference between the environment in Jurassic Park and the environment that the dinosaur actually lived in? And if the confidence coefficients don't overlap, then there is a significant difference. So when I plugged everything in and plotted it all out on a graph, I got a result that I was definitely not expecting. So apparently none of the dinosaurs in the original Jurassic Park movie would have really done well on Jurassic Park. So Costa Rica is really hot and really humid, and there really isn't much variation. So if we had to break down which dinosaurs would have done the best on Jurassic Park? The two that stood out were Brachiosaurus and Dilophosaurus. So these dinosaurs lived in deserty, arid, hot environments. So they probably could have handled the temperature of Costa Rica, but it would have been way too humid for them. Now on the flip side, Parasaurolophus would have been able to handle the humidity in Jurassic Park, but it would have been way too hot for it. So ironically, the dinosaurs that would have done the worst in Jurassic Park would have been T-Rex and Triceratops. Now this was really surprising to me because I knew that prehistoric Montana was more of a temperate environment. It was a little colder, more forested. It had a lot of sequoias, palm trees, and magnolias. But I didn't know that it was that much colder than modern day Costa Rica. I was really surprised. So after I did that, it got me thinking, well, would any of the dinosaurs in any Jurassic Park or Jurassic World movie have been able to survive on Jurassic Park? So I did the exact same thing, but this time I included every single dinosaur that was ever featured in any Jurassic Park movie. I even included animals that aren't technically dinosaurs, like Pteranodon and Lystrosaurus. So after I put in all these other dinosaurs and prehistoric animals, the verdict was that none still really fit into the environment at Jurassic Park, but we are getting closer. So some dinosaurs that were introduced later in the franchise actually would have done much better than the original dinosaurs in the first movie. 
So a couple dinosaurs that would have done the best are Compsognathus, or the Compies, Iguanodon, and Pyroraptor. So some dinosaurs that would have done okay, or about mid, would have been Allosaurus, Stegosaurus, Ceratosaurus, and Apatosaurus, because these dinosaurs lived alongside Brachiosaurus. Some other dinosaurs that would have done all right would have been Moros, Cynoceratops, and Baryonyx. So all these dinosaurs would have been able to handle the temperature of Costa Rica. But again, they mostly lived in low humidity environments, so that humidity probably would have gotten to them. So technically, these are not dinosaurs, but Dimorphodon, Dimetrodon, and Pteranodon all would have fared the same. Now on the flip side, Nesudoceratops and Dreadnoughtus would have been able to handle the precipitation and humidity of Jurassic Park, but again, it would have been way too hot for them. So two dinosaurs that I actually thought were really interesting was Spinosaurus and Mementisaurus. And these dinosaurs actually would have been too cold in Jurassic Park. I didn't even think that was possible. So now the dinosaurs that would have fared the worst in Jurassic Park. So because they lived alongside T-Rex, who also did not do well in Jurassic Park, Pachycephalosaurus, Stygimoloch, Ankylosaurus, and Quetzalcoatlus, even though that's not really a dinosaur. But all of those prehistoric animals would not have done well. It would have been way too hot and there would have been way too much precipitation and humidity for them. But there are actually dinosaurs that would have done worse than that. So apparently a Trociraptor lived in an even colder and even less humid environment than T-Rex. And although this is not a dinosaur, but Lystrosaurus would have done very poorly in Jurassic Park as well. These poor guys would have just been like on fire the whole time. So I know it's easy to poke fun in a movie and be like, that's not accurate. But in reality, a lot of zoos today have animals that don't live in their natural environments. Take the polar bear, for example. That thing only lives in the North Pole. And at least in the US, there's lots of US zoos that have polar bears at them. Now I can imagine that a polar bear is probably struggling a lot away from the North Pole. So to be fair, I did the exact same thing for polar bears to see how they fare and get a comparison for modern animals. So it turns out a polar bear actually does worse in a US zoo than dinosaurs do in Jurassic Park. But Jurassic Park dinosaurs probably still would not have done well. So could dinosaurs have technically lived in Jurassic Park? Well, maybe, but they probably would not have done well. There probably would have been a lot of health issues if they stayed there for a lot more than just one movie. So what do you guys think? Do you think other dinosaurs could have lived on Jurassic Park? Let me know in the comments. If you like this video, be sure to like it, be sure to subscribe to the channel, and be on the lookout for more videos in the future. So like I said, my name's Evan, I'm the Daily Dino Guy, and I'll see you in the next video.